I know it's been a while. Um, all I've been doing is giving you guys updates and today's not gonna be any different. Uh, it's gonna be another update video, but it's a good update video because uh, something actually got done. Uh, so the mud tape guy, um, he messaged me. He said, your cabin is ready for paint. So we just arrived. I got my post-its. Uh, somebody in YouTube suggested uh, to do a quality check. Uh, and if you, if I find something that is wrong, uh, we're gonna put uh, these little post-its in that area. And he's actually gonna come by to pick up his last check. So we came here an hour early to kind of do this thing and hope i'm hoping that there's nothing every, everything is good but again <laughs> it's hard to trust people I'll show you guys another thing that uh let's see turn it a little bit this grass is growing really good we've been watering it as much as we can it hasn't really been raining lately so it's kind of making me worry because we come here once a week and water as much as we can. All right, moment of truth. God help us all. So, I don't care about anything else, mainly the windows. Uh, it's not terrible, I guess. You can see I thought I'm only have to use maybe 10 little of these little sticky notes but I'll show you guys the bottom I don't know I <laughs> well he's gonna be here soon and he's gonna see all this cuz he's not getting a dime till he fixes all this um, so I try not to be too picky but if I could see it, it's gonna be even more visible once we put paint on. So, yeah, this is, I mean, look at this. I don't know how well you guys can see, but I'm sure you guys can see all those little sticky notes. So, all over these walls. Yeah. So, and it gets kind of worse. And this is the, the main part. Like, I might just not care about the other ones as much, but this front has to look very good. So. All this around here. So, like, I don't know how well you guys can see, but supposedly he sanded this down. Yeah, okay. He might have sanded it, but there's no way he put two coats for the screw. Um, yeah, so now I thought I was just gonna find like two, three things wrong and be done with it. But now we're looking even harder because um, he pretty much, <laughs> I don't know. But I'll give him benefit of the doubt for now, but we'll see how he reacts when he come in here. Like he pretty much just didn't do anything here. I'm like, you see a screw hole, so what's the problem? A 
let me know if this if you guys have experience with any mud tape guys whatever this amount of mistakes are okay uh, I don't think so but let me know maybe you know maybe I'm just being unreasonable uh, I don't know but All right, so long story short, mud tape sanding is done. The cabin is ready for paint. And yeah, so I didn't get much of his reaction, but I think he was more um, worried that there was so much uh, uh, post-it notes that I put the places that I thought it was not done right. So I think it all worked out. He is done. Uh, but there were some stuff around the window that I said, there's no way uh, you're going to get your last payment. I'm sorry, but those windows I told you from the beginning, it has to be perfect. Um, in the back here, it's fine. I could sand a few things. I'm not worried about it too much. So yeah, I think I'm done. This video is done and we are ready for paint. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, so for those of you guys that are still watching and still enjoy this show, uh, <laughs> thank you for that. But let me kind of show you guys on the background what I'm doing. So the, um, the first thing that I'm gonna try to accomplish is finished painting this because as you can see those areas it looks nice on the video but up and close and personal it's not uniformed so I'm gonna paint everything uh, like I intended to finish that up uh, the next thing is we're trying to find a temporary home for that <coughs> excuse me so what we did was I don't know if you guys remember for the last year I've been talking about RV station and EV station so we're gonna bring the camper trailer we're gonna move it from there we're gonna bring it up 
And I think since we cleared this spot really good, we're gonna place it right here, anywhere between here and that tree. I haven't decided where because we have the water that's right behind the cabin and then the electricity right there. So if I place it right here and the EV and RV charging station will be right here and then we can just hook it up. It has a 25 feet cord uh, from the trailer into the um, electricity. So this will be the temporary home for the camper. Um, the only reason I, I keep saying temporary is because if someone wants to rent it and not stay here and take it out somewhere else, I want to make sure that they have good access to take them out and that's it. And then also for myself, if I decide to take it to a, you know, camping or whatever somewhere in the local state parks, I should be able to take it and, and also obviously maintenance if there's something goes wrong. So it will be right here. It will be on Airbnb for the staying portion here. And for the people that wants to rent out the actual tr camper, um, they could just come in and hitch it and take it away. So yeah, um, again, I know you guys thinking like, oh great, <laughs> uh, you, uh, the, the dome is in shambles and the cabin, it looks nice from the outside, but nothing is done inside. Um, why would you want to start something new? Uh, you haven't even finished one. I don't know. I don't have a good answer for you guys. So <laughs> just I'm going with the flow and I'm going with what I think uh, is a good business idea. So uh, yes, we're still focused on the cabin, but you know, I need some kind of income coming in on the Airbnb side just to kind of get a feel of how I'm going to manage this and how I'm going to, you know, be an Airbnb host. So, and obviously once the cabin is done, the RV is not going to stay here. It's going to have to be out of sight, out of mind because the people that are here, I don't want them to see an RV there or, or thinking that there's somebody going to be sharing the area with them now because I'm hoping that this is the money maker, not the trailer so if, if everything else you guys forget just know that it is part of the business plan and i believe in it enough to not be oblivious to the to the risks and and all that stuff but i do think that i think i have a good thing going here and and i i am confident enough that it will do something and i just don't know obviously till it's open but I, I just can't imagine that this just gonna sit here and collect dust.